Hello everyone and welcome to my Emmerdale News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. According to my latest spoiler images, Emmerdale promises an emotional week for both the village's residents and watchers at home, with one icon getting surgery and another going completely crazy. In the upcoming special episode of the ITV soap opera, Moira Dingle will have brain surgery. As fans are aware, the well-known character was given a brain tumor diagnosis two months ago and has been nervous about the prospect of the surgery. She prepares for the worst on the day before the surgery, which makes it equally stressful for her. She is not alone in this regard, as Kane Dingle also finds it difficult to cope with the possibility of losing his one true love. The tale will unfold in reverse order in the previously stated special episode, which will follow Moira as she undergoes surgery while Kane's emotions are erratic. Additionally, Kane's rather bloodied hands give Caleb Milligan a major shock when he stumbles upon him, raising the issue of what the hard man has done. I, in addition to this, Caleb will also be left reeling by the arrival of his estranged daughter staff during the week in question. During the week in question, Ruby Fox Milligan, who had recently taken a vacation from the hamlet, makes a surprise appearance and aims to confront Steph, who affirms that she had communication with Helen before her passing. Ruby loses it and hits her daughter when old wounds are brought up again. Ruby is sorry and makes an effort to make things right, but when her father Anthony shows up at the cafe, she is shocked to see that Steph orchestrated this. And that's only the beginning. In addition, a couple gets engaged and there is a mystery intruder at home farm. Without a doubt, this week is going to be very interesting. Months after Moira Dingle was given a brain tumor diagnosis, Natalie J. Robb, star of Emmerdale, has spoken out about her intense plot. Moira was told back in September that she had a meningioma, a sort of brain tumor, which was the cause of her symptoms, which included personality changes, confusion, memory loss, and seizures. Despite not being malignant, the tumor made Moira anxious about her future, and she will have surgery to remove it next week. It is exhausting, Natalie revealed in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk on the demands of playing a character with a brain tumor. It's really intense. In order to give Moira's narrative a realistic and genuine portrayal, Natalie and the Emmerdale team collaborated closely with the charity's Brains Trust and the Brain Tumor Charity during the development and research of the plot, Natalie went on, I must admit that I truly went through it with a neurologist when it came to the seizures themselves. You had to perform those correctly, so I was really nervous about that. Natalie was cautioned by the neurologist to warm up before reenacting a seizure since she would feel worn out afterward. Even just doing it for under a minute, I was absolutely exhausted over it, Natalie admitted. I got someone to video it and send it to the neurologist and he said it was bang on, Natalie continued, highlighting how crucial it was to portray it perfectly on screen. A woman from a brain tumor charity came in to view it. She entered to keep an eye on us and ensure that everything was done correctly, Natalie acknowledged that the plot has been rewarding even if it has also been emotionally exhausting. It is both exhausting and rewarding when you see it go out and know that you did a good job, she said. That's the key, along with the reaction I've received from members of the public who are experiencing it. At least I know I've been performing well because it's been fantastic. It's been good for that and, hopefully, to increase awareness because I believe they would also tell you otherwise. Natalie discussed the significance of increasing awareness about brain tumors, particularly in women, whose symptoms can resemble those of menopause and prevent them from receiving the proper diagnosis in a timely manner. She continued, it's really odd because it does resemble menopausal symptoms in women. Many women do not receive a diagnosis until much later, and by then, the tumor may have spread significantly. Following a shocking brain tumor diagnosis that throws her life into disarray, Natalie J. Robb has revealed what will happen to her character Moira Dingle in Emmerdale. ITV soap opera executives have said that viewers will be treated to a special episode that focuses on Moira's recovery from surgery and gives them a glimpse of how her partner, Jeff Hordley's character, Kane Dingle, a bad boy, handles his mental instability. The episode will reverse the timeline and begin with Kane's brother Caleb Milligan, played by William Ash, discovering him in a favorable situation. Kane, who is alone and struggling with his anxieties due to Moira's health crisis, is seen fighting his demons in the garage because he cannot bear the thought of losing his sweetheart. I was really excited, Natalie said in an interview with the media about being thrust into this compelling plot. 
Were you worried they were going to kill you off is a common question, but the producer gave me that assurance right immediately. There is nothing you can do when someone chooses to do that for you, it is in the hands of the gods. I was thrilled since I hadn't told a tale in a long time, and I must admit that the amount of people experiencing this in real life and the comments I've received on social media are astounding. I didn't know. According to Natalie, who shared some touching experiences, fans are finding this plotline to be very relatable, I've been at award ceremonies and people have come up to me and said I've had my tumor removed and showed me the scars. Receiving that responsibility was an honor and a privilege, because others do experience it, I did want to make sure that the study and consultation with a neurologist were done correctly. When asked what fans may expect from upcoming episodes, Natalie, who played Moira for the first time in 2009, said, There's still some things to come and Moira still has to go through some treatment afterwards as well so we don't know if everything is going to be hunky-dory. When it comes to powerful storytelling, Emmerdale is no stranger to tackling hard-hitting health issues that resonate deeply with audiences. One of the soap's most gripping plotlines has recently been the storyline involving Moira Dingle, played by Natalie J. Robb. In September, Moira was diagnosed with a meningioma, a type of brain tumor that, although non-cancerous, has devastating effects on her mental and physical well-being. This diagnosis sent Moira's character on an emotional roller coaster and left fans holding their breath as she confronts surgery to remove the tumor. In an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk, Natalie J. Robb shared her experiences in bringing Moira's character to life, offering a raw and honest look into the intensity, complexity, and responsibility that come with portraying such a life-altering health issue. Chapter 1 The Beginning of Moira's Battle Moira Dingle's journey started with subtle but telling changes that hinted at something much deeper beneath the surface. Subtle signs such as personality changes, memory lapses, and bouts of confusion initially seemed like stress or exhaustion. However, as these symptoms intensified, Moira and those around her realized that something was gravely wrong. In September, her world was turned upside down when she was diagnosed with a meningioma. Despite being non-cancerous, the tumor presented an immediate threat to her quality of life, leading her to face an uncertain future. The storyline was a carefully thought-out decision by the show's writers and producers. The aim was to shed light on a serious health issue that affects thousands but often goes unnoticed due to its non-cancerous nature. In reality, many people with brain tumors suffer quietly, often misdiagnosed until symptoms worsen. Chapter 2 The Intensity of Portraying a Brain Tumor Patient In her interview, Natalie described the process of preparing for the role as intense. The Emmerdale team worked closely with leading UK charities like the Brains Trust and the Brain Tumor Charity, who provided insights, medical knowledge, and guidance. This collaboration aimed to ensure that Moira's portrayal would be both accurate and respectful. The emotional toll of depicting a character facing such a critical health condition was enormous. Natalie shared how emotionally exhausting it was to film scenes where Moira grapples with fear, confusion, and uncertainty. It is tiring. It's quite intense, she admitted, revealing the lengths she went to ensure authenticity in her role. Chapter 3 The Challenge of Acting Out Seizures One of the most challenging aspects of portraying Moira's condition was simulating the physical symptoms, including seizures. Natalie shared that this was a demanding and nerve-wracking part of the role. To make it as realistic as possible, she worked closely with a neurologist who guided her on how to depict a seizure accurately on screen. This preparation involved more than just technical advice, the neurologist warned her about the physical toll that even a simulated seizure could take on her body. Before each scene, Natalie had to prepare herself physically and mentally, knowing she would feel utterly drained afterward. Even just doing it for under a minute, I was absolutely exhausted over it, she confessed. Despite the exhaustion, she pushed herself to deliver an authentic performance, even going as far as recording her portrayal to send to the neurologist, who confirmed that her performance was spot on. Chapter 4 The Emotional Rewards of Raising Awareness For Natalie, the hard work, exhaustion, and emotional challenges of the role have been balanced by a profound sense of accomplishment. She described the feeling of satisfaction she experienced when receiving messages from viewers affected by brain tumors. Knowing that her portrayal resonated with those who live with these conditions daily made all the effort worthwhile. Natalie shared that working on Moira's storyline brought to light the importance of raising awareness about brain tumors, especially among women. 
symptoms of brain tumors can mimic those of menopause, which often leads to a delayed diagnosis. This storyline sheds light on this issue, helping viewers recognize that symptoms often dismissed as just menopause may be something more serious. Chapter 5, Behind the Scenes, Collaborating with Experts Creating a storyline that authentically portrays a health condition as complex as a brain tumor required more than just dramatic flair, it required the insight and cooperation of experts. Emmerdale's producers worked hand-in-hand -hand with organizations like the Brains Trust and the Brain Tumor Charity, both of which were instrumental in ensuring the storyline's accuracy. Natalie mentioned that a representative from a brain tumor charity was even present on set to observe scenes, ensuring that each portrayal was done properly. This level of dedication and care set a standard for the soap, highlighting Emmerdale's commitment to more than just entertainment but also education and awareness. Chapter 6, The Impact on Viewers and the Public Response Emmerdale fans have been captivated by Moira's journey, flooding social media with support for both the character and Natalie's portrayal. Viewers shared their own stories of dealing with brain tumors or supporting loved ones through similar diagnoses. Many expressed gratitude to Natalie and the Emmerdale team for shining a light on a type of tumor that is often overlooked. Natalie acknowledged the power of her role to connect with audiences and raise awareness about brain tumors. It's exhausting, but it's also rewarding when you see it go out and you know that you've done a good job, she shared, speaking to the incredible impact that television can have on public consciousness. Chapter 7, Moira's Future on Emmerdale, What's Next? With Moira's surgery looming, fans are anxiously awaiting the outcome. Although her tumor is non-cancerous, the surgery is still a serious procedure, and recovery is by no means guaranteed. The emotional stakes are high as her family and friends prepare for the uncertainty that lies ahead. Moira's story is far from over, and viewers are on the edge of their seats, wondering how this life-changing event will affect her relationships, mental health, and outlook on life. Chapter 8, Natalie's Message to Fans, The Importance of Health Awareness Natalie hopes that Moira's journey will resonate with viewers and encourage them to be proactive about their health. As she pointed out, the symptoms of a brain tumor can be mistaken for other issues, especially in women. Her portrayal serves as a reminder to trust one's intuition and seek medical advice if something feels off. I think the storyline has opened up conversations about health in a way that feels very personal, Natalie said. It's a reminder that anyone can be affected, and sometimes it's the hidden symptoms that need the most attention. Emmerdale's Legacy of Health Awareness Emmerdale has a long tradition of addressing real-life health issues, and Moira's brain tumor storyline is yet another example of how soap operas can make a difference. Natalie J. Robb's powerful portrayal, along with Emmerdale's commitment to authenticity, has elevated Moira's journey from fiction to a moving reminder of real-life struggles. As Moira heads into surgery, audiences will be watching, hoping, and connecting with the bravery it takes to face life's toughest battles. Buckle up, Emmerdale fans, because Moira Dingle's life is taking a gut-wrenching turn, and no one is ready for the explosive twists ahead. Natalie J. Robb, the powerhouse actress who's brought Moira to life for over a decade, has revealed shocking insights into the future of her character. After a devastating brain tumor diagnosis, Moira faces a heart-wrenching battle that could change everything, and it's throwing Kane Dingle, her infamous bad boy husband, into a tailspin. The Bombshell Diagnosis The Emmerdale world shook when the news broke, Moira Dingle's recent erratic behavior wasn't just stress or exhaustion, but the terrifying symptom of an underlying brain tumor. Fans were blindsided as they watched Moira, a character known for her resilience, crumble under the weight of a diagnosis that threatens her very identity. Natalie J. Robb, speaking to the press, couldn't hide her excitement about the intense storyline ahead. It's a huge honor, and it's touching so many people's lives in ways I couldn't have anticipated, she admitted. But what exactly does this diagnosis mean for Moira, and what dark path does it set her husband Kane on? the special episode that flips the script. As a treat for fans, ITV has prepared a groundbreaking special episode, unlike anything Emmerdale has done before. The episode takes place on the day of Moira's surgery but shows events in reverse. We'll see Kane's heart-wrenching struggle as he wrestles with the possibility of losing his soulmate, starting from the aftermath and rewinding to the heartbreaking beginning of his day. Brace yourself for emotional turmoil like never before. The episode opens with Kane's brother Caleb finding him at rock bottom, struggling in the garage and grappling with his fears. 
Kane, usually the tough guy, is unrecognizable, alone, terrified, and utterly broken. William Ash, who plays Caleb, has teased that this scene is one of the most intense moments he's ever shared with Jeff Hordley, who plays Kane. Viewers will be on the edge of their seats as Kane spirals deeper into despair, fearing he could lose Moira for good. Natalie J. Robb's emotional journey and fans' reactions Taking on such a powerful storyline has been deeply emotional for Natalie J. Robb. The actress revealed she's been inundated with support and stories from fans who've been through similar experiences. People have come up to me at awards, showing me their scars, sharing their stories. It's a privilege and a responsibility to represent this struggle accurately, she shared. Natalie emphasized her commitment to doing justice to Moira's journey by consulting with neurologists and researching the reality of brain tumor recovery. Her dedication shines through, and fans are responding in droves. Social media is flooded with messages from viewers who feel seen and understood as they see their own battles reflected in Moira's story. It's a testament to the power of television when it brings real issues to light and touches the lives of those who are struggling in silence. The Ripple Effect on Kane and Moira's Relationship This diagnosis is not only Moira's battle, it's Kane's as well. The couple has weathered countless storms, but this could be the one that either strengthens their bond or shatters it for good. As Moira faces surgery and a long road to recovery, Kane is forced to confront his own vulnerabilities. No longer the untouchable tough guy, he's now a husband who might lose the love of his life. Natalie hinted that Moira's journey is far from over. There's still some things to come. Moira has to go through treatment afterward as well, so we don't know if everything is going to be hunky-dory, she teased. Could this mean complications in her recovery, or perhaps a deeper look into how this couple can overcome yet another hurdle? Kane's Dark Descent, a look into his past demons. The reverse timeline episode gives fans a rare, vulnerable glimpse into Kane's psyche. Known for his rough exterior, Kane's softer side is often reserved for Moira. But with her life hanging in the balance, he's thrown into a whirlwind of past regrets, anger, and fear. This descent into his darker side is amplified by scenes of him battling old demons, especially as he isolates himself from his loved ones. Jeff Hordley, who portrays Kane, has been vocal about the complexities of this storyline. Kane is a man who's always dealt with things by himself. But this is something he can't fight on his own, he explained. For the first time, he's got to confront his own fears and let other people in. The result is a portrayal that is raw, powerful, and heart-wrenching, a must-watch for fans of the character. Will Moira pull through? The Road Ahead While Natalie reassures fans that Moira won't be killed off, her recovery will be anything but straightforward. The tumor removal is just the beginning of a journey that will test her strength and resilience, and the aftermath promises even more drama. With Kane by her side, albeit in a fragile state, viewers are left wondering if their love can survive yet another trial. Emmerdale bosses have teased that the ripple effects of Moira's diagnosis will extend beyond Kane and Moira, potentially impacting the entire Dingle clan. Family members who have been estranged, like Charity and Chaz, may find themselves drawn back together in a show of solidarity. But as secrets unravel and tensions flare, will the Dingles remain united, or will Moira's illness drive an irreparable wedge between them? A storyline that hits close to home. For Natalie J. Robb, this storyline is more than just acting, it's a chance to connect with fans on a personal level. Her portrayal has struck a chord, and she's determined to bring authenticity to every scene. There's a huge responsibility to get this right because so many people live through this, she said. The care she's taking with her performance reflects her dedication to those watching, ensuring that Emmerdale's portrayal of this harrowing journey is both truthful and respectful. This storyline is a turning point for Moira and a career-defining moment for Natalie J. Robb. As viewers prepare for the upcoming episodes, the stakes have never been higher, and the anticipation is at fever pitch. What lies ahead for Moira, Kane, and the Dingles is uncertain, but one thing is clear, Emmerdale fans are in for an emotional roller coaster. Despite not being malignant, the tumor made Moira anxious about her future, and she will have surgery to remove it next week. It is exhausting, Natalie revealed in an exclusive interview with Express.co.uk on the demands of playing a character with a brain tumor. It's really intense. 
In order to give Moira's narrative a realistic and genuine portrayal, Natalie and the Emmerdale team collaborated closely with the charity's Brains Trust and the Brain Tumor Charity during the development and research of the plot, Natalie went on, I must admit that I truly went through it with a neurologist when it came to the seizures themselves. You had to perform those correctly, so I was really nervous about that.